Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. What everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I know you guys have been waiting for Cardi B to come out of hiding. And this weekend she has definitely made an appearance and that knot is no longer on her forehead, okay? And on top of that, Cardi B is also being a good sport and she's laughing at herself. If you guys don't know, she recently took to Instagram and she posted this meme of this little girl dressed in a red dress and she stated that the little girl's gonna be Cardi B for Halloween. And Cardi B comes on there and she replies, the only thing that's missing is the knot, okay? So Cardi B and Hennessy are well aware of all the jokes, the comments and things that people have been saying about her, but Cardi B's taking it in stride. And this past weekend, her and Offset were caught partying in the club, living their best life ever. There was also a picture of her backstage at the Offset concert with Baby Culture in the buggy. We still have not seen how Baby Culture looks. She's not ready to show the world her child yet, but that damn stroller is banging, okay? So y'all go ahead and check out these videos, check out these pictures, I'ma come back with the rest of my commentary. <music> Saw her and Offset living their damn best life. So now on top of that, Cardi B is also addressing the haters. A lot of folks have been spreading rumors. A lot of folks have been saying that her career is over because of the New York Fashion Week bra. Um, it's also been announced that certain A-list celebrities have unfollowed her. Everybody from J-Lo to Rihanna, they're also saying that Rihanna refused to invite her to the Diamond Ball because allegedly what happened at New York Fashion Week, Rihanna didn't want any drama. She didn't want any smoke at her Diamond Ball. Um, so I don't know if that's true or not, but folks are also saying that Rihanna also unfollowed Cardi B, okay? So anyhow, Cardi B is addressing the haters, she's addressing the naysayers, and she's back on the gram, she's back on Snapchat, and she's doing her. Y'all go ahead and check out this video right here. Hello there, everybody. God damn, 94,000, no, 90, how many views do I have right now? 94,000 viewers. And people still out here talking about my career is over. Are you motherfucking dumb? <laughs> is you motherfucking dumb? Is you high of bouquet? Yeah, tío. But we'll go to the entrance. So I'm doing a lot of work in New York. Go to, go to 100 wow. to that. I'm, go, I'm going. Bye. I'm going. I see you. But I got 104,000 viewers. Because <laughs> you know motherfuckers like to say your career is over. Well, my career is over. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, bye. Uh, no sé. Ah, uh, okay. Save this live and told the niggas to suck my dick. I got a lot of good things coming, y'all. A lot of good things. So Cardi B is definitely not lying when she says she has some shit in the works. If you guys don't know, it's just been reported today that her and Travis Scott will be joining Maroon 5 during the Super Bowl halftime show. It's also being rumored that Rihanna might be joining them as well. So it looks like the industry is not ready to turn their back on Cardi B quite yet. It's going to be very interesting to see her perform at the Super Bowl because last year she was in Minneapolis, but she was mainly performing, you know, at different events. So for her to go from having a Super Bowl commercial last year to performing during the Super Bowl halftime show, that is a big deal. All right, honey, so like Cardi B said, nobody's slowing her down. She's still doing her thing. And for what I'm hearing, she's in the studio and she's getting ready to drop some new music, okay? So now in Nicki Minaj news, so as we know, Nicki has a new boy in her life, okay? She was talking about new boy on Ellen. She's been talking about new boy everywhere she damn goes, even in her damn music, okay? And initially, folks thought that new boy was Eminem and people who thought that had egg on their damn face. Well, now you guys are about to have some more egg on your face because a lot of folks were saying that Nicki Minaj's new boy, new boyfriend, new boo, new shorty, you know what I'm saying? 
They were saying that it was Lewis Hamilton, okay? Lewis Hamilton is a race car driver. So now Lewis Hamilton is coming out and he's speaking about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. And he is basically confirming, okay, that him and Nicki Minaj are not an item, okay? Sorry, Barb's. Nicki Minaj is not revealing who the new boy is. I know you guys tried hard to make it Lewis Hamilton, but he's confirming out of his own mouth that he is not new boy. Go ahead and check this out. So in an interview with the Times UK, he says, my love life is non-existent. I'm a workaholic. I don't have time for it. When you travel as much as I do, it's hard to keep up a relationship. So I'm in the mindset that I'm not going to do that until I've stopped and no longer have to be single-minded. Okay, Lewis, we see you, boo. Now, you might be single. You may technically not be in a real relationship, but you know somebody's hitting that shit, okay? You know he fucking somebody on the side. Don't get that shit twisted. He's too damn fine to be out here not getting no ass, honey. We know you smashing somebody. I guess it's not Nicki Minaj, but it's somebody out there smashing Lewis damn Hamilton. Stop trying to play coy, okay? Spill the damn tea. Who is she? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I just wanted to bring y'all that update. So Cardi B is, you know, doing her thing. She's out here with her husband. She's enjoying her baby. You know what I'm saying? And she's basically letting the world know that her career is not over. You guys will see her soon again. She's dropping some new music. And Nicki Minaj is still chilling and, you know, being low-key with new boy. So we'll have to see if Nicki Minaj ends up spilling her own tea and letting the world know who new boy is. So now here goes some extra Nicki Minaj tea that's causing controversy all over the internet. So if you guys don't know, yesterday it was announced that Nicki Minaj is now the new face for a cyberbullying campaign following the bra with Cardi B. And a lot of people are questioning this. So what's going down is that basically Italian designer Diesel, they basically tapped Nicki Minaj, Gucci Man, Bella Thorne, Tommy DeForum, and you are as a brand ambassador for Diesel's Fall Winter 2018 Hate Couture Collection, which features pieces emboldened with hateful comments each of these stars have received on social media. At the Milan event on Wednesday, Nicki Minaj wore a Diesel jacket from the line that read, The Bad Guy. As part of this limited collection to fight against cyberbullying, a portion of the proceeds for each sale will be donated to the Only the Brave Foundation, a nonprofit organization that supports anti-bullying programs. However, when people on Twitter heard this, they were really upset and people were going off on Diesel saying that Nicki has a you know a history of starting stuff with other celebrities like Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Mariah Carey. So a lot of people have been really mixed on this. One of the tweets reads, laugh my ass off, really Diesel? Nicki Minaj is one of the biggest bullies in the entertainment industry and has took part in tons of cyberbullying. Shake my head. Y'all say she's receiving hate. Actually, it's backlash due to her actions. I call it karma, LOL, shake my head. This is beyond pathetic. So clearly a lot of people are mixed. A lot of folks have something to say about this whole Nicki Minaj anti-bullying campaign situation. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you feel like Nicki is a good choice for Diesel to be the face of anti-bullying online? Or do you feel like they should have went with somebody else? And then how do you feel about Lewis Hamilton coming out letting the world know that he's not new boy? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.